Uh, this is dedicated to all the hackers and the crackers. You know what I'm saying? If you hear this, I want you to bump this and do your dirt, dog. Do your dirt. You can fill a stadium with cats using shit cracked by radium. Liquid sky will never die. Before the crackers and the hackers, life was wacker. Software we could never stack for. We were floored by these evil whores. All the best shit we could never afford. The internet at MP3, they set us free. I'm downloading Windows and me right now. I'm FTP. You bitches will never find me because I'm everywhere. Okay, hi. Here we are back with a new video. And here we're going to start explaining everything we were trying to explain in the last videos you know we've been talking about security and about how we're gonna try to help enlighten our people about how to get systems and networks secure so they can protect our information so this is what I thought in this video we're gonna start explaining what structures should business have so that they can make sure that they could keep our data secure and this is gonna happen by explaining the different type of networks there are out there and how are people storing these networks so let's begin we go down here we're going to explain one of the type of networks I call them the one server type networks it's called small business uh, servers and these small business servers are networks uh, they only have one server and these servers usually they they use them for example this server would have their active directory controller the domain controller it would probably have their print servers it will probably have their application servers it will probably have uh, any sort of exchange if they do have them it will probably have their filing server in there it will probably have any type of uh, DNS uh, web services that they have any VPN services they have well so this is what we call a network of one computer and this computer could be one server and even though you don't believe it is is businesses out there that run this type of of, of, of network topologies and and I'm explaining you why uh, in this case this server obviously by just having one server if they get attack on this server they actually lose the whole company information or if they get hacked in this server they automatically get access to all the information so this is the server that, that most companies are using out there this is the servers I recommend and these will be called multiple server domains these multiple servers let's begin by saying this will be our first server and so that we don't forget this is going to be called our server one and these type of networks this will be the server one and might as be the only server on this domain could probably have a second one to generate a secondary domain controller but really doubt it usually they do this because they want to keep low cost they want to keep uh, easy of management and, and we're going to get into that later on so let's go back to this type of server and by obvious reasons this is the type of networks that I recommend which is our multiple server domains so let's call this server server one on this type of domain okay so this server I will probably use it to create my domain controller I will probably use it to create my group policy server and I will probably have on this server also my uh, active directory on this server okay my active directory my domain controller my users so maybe and we will probably have on this server our DNS server so this is what's happening and let's see if we could cover all this you see if we keep going on this server we're probably gonna get into what happened on this type of network so we don't want that so we're gonna have strategic things placed on each server making it harder for any type of attack so that it could happen so we already said that we're gonna have on this server our domain controller we said we're gonna have on this server our active directory controller we're gonna have our group policy let's see if we could stick it in here group policy 
and we said we're going to have DNS. Okay? Because we're going to need resolution. So, this is probably going to be it for this server. Now, let's talk about a second server that I would probably add on this network or on this domain. This other server, let's go up here. This other server, we will call it probably server 2. And this server 2 then would be probably my print server. Print. This would be my print server. And probably this would be also my secondary domain controller. Okay. And what are we saying by this? Well, what we're saying is we're going to have full tolerance for this server. If this server gets attacked by a hacker and it gets knocked down or any inclemency of the weather, something could happen, a power surge, or the server could go bad by any means or reason. Well, we still have a domain controller. Uh, so we got global catalog functionality working. So users will still find users on the network. And users will still have printing services on the network. So... The other thing I might add here is the DNS also, and this will be our secondary DNS, so that we could get name resolution if we get any sort of attack. So right now we have two servers, they're complementing each other, but they're not running everything by themselves. Each server needs the other one so that it could function in a good conditions. But if one goes down, still the other one could, could take control and help us out to keep on running our network. Is what we're looking for. Uh, if a hacker gets in our infrastructure and shuts down any of our servers or hacks down any of our security servers, we could still have uh, one of the functionalities of our network running. When we're talking about this type of network, that doesn't happen. Once they attack this server, they have full control of, a whole, of our whole domain. And if you follow our last videos, I always told you, hackers are looking for something. And what are they looking for is what they're going to try to find in your network. And if they find that, it will make it more interesting for them to attack you. So on this server, if they went in and they already got into your infrastructure, they already got control of all your information. So this will be pretty interesting for them. So let's go back to the type of network I prefer called multiple server domains and let's create another server okay uh, it's very important to note that these servers are not going to be called uh, the this names that I'm putting up here server 3 uh, obviously you're gonna use names that are within your infrastructure relating to what they're doing if you want to do it that way this is another a lot of other ways we could do this and we're gonna discuss this in other videos so for this time we're going to call them this way and is another thing that you should know is that these servers are not all the same when I mean they're not all the same is that they're not all going to have the same features not all going to have the same memories not all going to have the same hard drives they might even not have all the same speeds because all these servers did not do the same thing for example a, a file server, which is the one we're going to discuss now, will probably want it to have a lot of hard drive, maybe in the terabytes, because we're going to be storing filing. But maybe on our print server, we don't need as much hard drive, but we need a lot of memory, because it's going to be managing maybe 30 to 40 printers, or maybe more or less around that. And believe me, once those print spoolers get pretty, pretty full, you know they could they could bring a little bit of, of load on your network so you want to have a lot of memory so they can manage all that information and maybe on our uh, and I don't want to get into all the details because we're gonna have another video explaining what type of features do we want on each of these servers and I don't want to spend too much time in that because the video is pretty long and I want to finish it so we are in our on our third server, and this server we're going to call it our file server. And this server.